Père, prison et méditation. I remember that thing. I am of the nature to grow old. There is no way to escape growing old. I am of the nature to have ill health. There is no way to escape having ill health. I am of the nature to die. There is no way to escape death. All that is dear to me and everyone I love are of the nature to change. There is no way to escape being separated from them. My actions are my only true belongings. I cannot escape the consequences of my actions. My actions are the ground on which I stand. By relying on the truth, reality of the Dharma, the fellowship of the Sangha, and the wisdom and compassion of the Buddha. May I realize my true nature and liberate other beings from sufferings. Namo Amida. Namo Amida. Namo Amida. Namo Amida. Okay, thank you. Today we are here at the Shotsky Monthly Memorial Service, and combined with the Renyo Shoni Memorial. But today is the day for listening the Dharma, listening the Dharma of the Nembutsu. This Nembutsu. Nembutsu is all that the Jodo Shinshu is about. Nembutsu is all that the Jodo Shinshu is about. Everyone knows the words listening the Dharma. Listening the Dharma is familiar. Uh, you ever hear listening the Dharma as the main practice of our Jodo Shinshu. However, Few people know that the meaning of listening to the Dharma is entirely listening to the voice of Nembutsu. You are reciting yourself. Yes, listening to the Dharma is entirely listening to the voice of Nembutsu. You are reciting yourself. Listening to the Dharma talk from the minister is a truly valuable experience only if you want to know the origin of the Namo Amita Namo Amita which Shakyamuni Buddha's words of conviction that what happens to you as a result by encountering the Dattanemus when we listen to the natural voice of the Buddha, which our ancestors have carried on the last 2700 years ago, and know the workings of the Buddha's masterful wisdom, and think about the destination of life, the world of the Buddha, the living of Jodo Shinshu begins. There is no other path for ordinary people like us to become Buddha without faith. This is the conclusion of Shinra Shonin's practical experience. Therefore, we must keep listening to the meaning, function, and the results of the Nembuts until there is no longer any doubt. Original term, Namo Amitabha, consists of two words. Namu and Amitabha. Specifically, Namu means bowing the head. Namu means bowing the head. There are two meanings when we bow our head first. When we feel we are bad or wrong. We may bow down our head, our head and say, I'm sorry. 
Secondly, when we express our thanks to someone, we may bow our head down and also say, thank you. Thus, Nanu has two aspects, the feeling of being sorry and the feeling of being grateful. Sometimes we may feel that we surely have a right to have a comfortable and happy life. But if we think about our lives, we realize that every day we have to take our lives for our existence. For example, we eat meat, vegetables and fruits. We have to consume these, li these other lives because the sacrifice of those lives sustain our life, our own life. We must have to take life for our own living. Rather than feeling we have a right to take other life, we should actually confess our selfishness and deeply appreciate the sacrifice of those lives. That is why in the Shin Buddhist tradition we say itadakimasu before each meal. This itadakimasu in Japanese means I humbly receive this meal with my sincere appreciation. Or more literally, I pay the highest respect to all life shared as our food. Itadakimasu. This is the spirit of Nam, the spirit of feeling both sorry and grateful. It is important to note that even in the 21st century, there are many people who still insist in man's domination over all living beings in this world and believe that animals exist only for the sake of human. People must notice that kind of arrogant idea is the cause to destroying an environment of this planet Earth. In addition, in terms of our relationships with any other people, if we can create a world where people bow to each other in the spirit of none. And furthermore, people whom have already recognized the potential of Buddha nature worship each other then there will be no more quarrels and disputes in the world. We will be able to live in a world of peace, harmony, and oneness. There is historically proven by the fact that the Jodo Shinshu society in any country has the amazingly lower crime rate with almost no violent crimes. And Amitabha, that immeasurable masterful wisdom and kindness, the working of original Buddha nature that made Gautama Siddhartha, Prince Siddhartha, the Supreme Buddha. In other words, the Buddha's compassionate words, Nam were uttered, and the driving force that subsequently brought the Buddha Dharma into the world was Amitabha. Amitabha brought the Buddha Dharma. I have heard from one old man that in the past, in Japan, when I was still young, in the towns and the villages of the Jodo Shishu followers. The morning of the day of the Dharma service began with a bantering song 
sung by the children on their way to the temple. The song is as follows. What are you guys doing all morning? We hear a dharma at the temple from now. Why won't you listen? Where are you being from? Where are you going? Why won't you hear the true things? Will you? How long do you think you could exist here? Are you truly a human? Not like animal, like monkey or dog. It's a, it's a bantering song. A song that even adults would be surprised to hear. What a powerful song by Shin Buddhist children. What the awesome children did the Jodo Shinshu community have. This is a story of the childhood time of the parents of our Issei's who immigrated to the United States. It is the day today to hear about the true and real life being that flows deep within the foundation of all consciousness existence in this universe. That's why today is the day when you face your life and hear the Buddha's guidance seriously by remembering the life of your ancestors. <laughs> Remembering your grand grandfather, grandmother, your father and your mother, they already passed away. Today, your deceased loved one is your guide. Please repeat after me. Namo Ami Namo Let me reiterate, <clears throat> then this is all that the Jodo Shinshu is about. <clears throat> Thank you very much. I want to read the letter of Renya Shoni I passed the paper. Would you please read it together? This is one of the uh, most famous letters the book five, the second letter, entitled on 80,000 sutras, Hachiman Bozo in Japanese. 80,000 sutras. It is said that the person who is well versed with the 80,000 treasury sutras and the documentaries, but doesn't know the direction in which one's like being is heading. He is ignorant. Instead, those who know the direction toward which one's like being is headed are described as wise, even if they are illiterate men or women. Therefore, in Jodo Shinshu as a mainstream Mahayana, we emphasize that those who study various teachings will end in vain if they are ignorant or knowing why Shakamuni Buddha recites the limits. Hence, Shinran Shonin said that no men or no women will ever be awakened without the emergence of individual Buddha nature, the awareness of one power or other power Shinji, which through the Nembutsu Dharma experience. For this reason, those who tearing ourselves out, out of ego grasp and undeniable living of self power, the said by the directing of virtue of the Myogo, the Buddha's awakening words, which reveals itself as the limits for guiding anyone beyond their inherent ego-oriented behavior and toward the ashram of the course of the Buddha. We will surely encounter the moment fulfilled in ultimate peace and joy, 10 out of 10 and 100 out of 100 regardless of any innate conditions or social status, there should not be any doubts about this.
Anakashko, Anakashko, These venerable and awe inspiring words are originally wasted on being such as I. With reverence, I humbly remain. Please repeat after me. Namo Mita. Namo Mita. Namo Mita. Kindness and gratitude beyond the human world that coming alive here and now. Namo Mita. Namo Mita. Namo Mita.